नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स ब्रिज कोर्स फॉर साइंस ग्रेड एट टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज फोर्स फोर्स इज अ पुश आर अ पुल दैट एक्ट्स ऑन एन ऑब्जेक्ट अ पुश आर अ पुल दैट एक्ट्स ऑन एन ऑब्जेक्ट ओके वी यूज फोर्स इन आवर डेली एक्टिविटीज टू डू डिफरेंट थिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल pushing a door open catching a ball or kicking a ball squeezing a tube of toothpaste we require force to do all these things okay so what is mean by force a force is a push or a pull that acts on an object effects of force force can have different effects on objects force can make a stationary object move force can make a stationary object move for example you push the pedals of your cycle to make the wheels turn force can stop a moving object force can stop a moving object for example when you apply the brakes the cycle slows down and stops moving force can increase or decrease the speed of a moving object for example you are riding a bicycle if you want to move faster you apply more force on the pedals when you get tired and reduce the force you are applying the cycle slows down force can change the direction of a moving object force can change the direction of your moving object for example when you see a bend in the road you steer your handlebars in its direction force can change the shape of an object force can change the shape of an object or break it for example we squeeze toothpaste of a tube every morning have you noticed the shape of the tube changing this is also a one type of force the next one types of force there are two types of force contact force non contact force contact force means is a physical contact between two or more object that means direct contact between two or more objects this kind of force are called contact force contact force are divided into three types muscular force spring spring force frictional force non contact force which acts from a distance this kind of force which acts from a distance that means indirect interaction between two object indirect interaction between two object okay so uh, non contact force divided into three types gravitational force magnetic force electrostatic force let us see one by one muscular force the force exerted by the muscles of our body is called muscular force the force exerted by the muscles of our body is muscular force all actions that involves our muscles like lifting kicking swiveling writing and even breathing require muscular force spring force the force that is created when a spring is compressed or stretched is called spring force the force that is created when a spring is compressed or stretched is called spring force for example spring balance the spring stretches when a force is applied to it okay the next one frictional force the force of resistance experienced when an object moves against another one the force of resistance experienced when an object moves against another one this force always acts in the direction 
opposite to the direction of the movement gravitational force the force of attraction that pulls object towards the earth is called gravitational force the force of attraction that pulls object towards the earth is called gravitational force this force actually exists between any two object in the universe if you attract the objects around you and the earth okay so this type of force is called gravitational force magnetic force the force produced by a magnet that affects other magnet or magnetic substance is known as magnetic force a force produced by a magnet that affects other magnet or magnetic substance is known as magnetic force a magnet attracts metals like iron cobalt nickel and steel towards itself a magnet attracts the metal iron cobalt nickel steel these are the magnetic substance in magnet the like poles are repel to each repel each other and the unlike poles attract each other the like poles of a magnet repel each other and the unlike poles of a magnet attract each other we are all know very well the magnet having a two poles north pole and south pole north pole and north pole repel each other north pole and south pole attract each other clear next one electrostatic force the force developed due to the interaction of two charged object is called electrostatic force the force developed due to the interaction of two charged objects is called electrostatic force for example fill a balloon with air when you rub a balloon against your hair the balloon becomes negatively charged whereas the hair becomes positively charged when you rub ba- uh, balloon against your hair a balloon becomes negatively charged whereas the hair becomes positively charged okay opposite charges attract each other this is why your hair is attracted to the balloon okay clear this is your home activity create your own mind map okay based on force you have to cover all the topics okay thank you